Welcome to Bhakti Sangha Japa Conference Call. Uh, we are very fortunate today to have uh, His Grace Shami Krishi Prabhuji here with us. And Prabhuji would be enlightening us by walking us through Srimad Bhagavatam 4.10.16 onwards. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, are you present on the call? Yes, I am present. Hare Krishna and my dandar pranam to all the devotees who are on this Japa Conference. Thank you very much for giving me opportunity to associate with Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, please accept my humble obeisances. Vancha kalpa dhrubhyasya kripa sindhu bhevacha patita nam pavane bhev vishnu bhev namo Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasadi Gaurav Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Om Agyanti Mirandhasya Kyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namah Shri Chaitanya Mano Vistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Tadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yutapadakamalam Shri Guru Vaishlamamsha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Raghunathan Vitam Tamsajivam Sadvetam Savadhutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sagana Lalita Sri Vishakhan Vitam Shiva He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpati Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastuti Tatta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrashabhana Sute Devi Pranamami Haripri Namo Mahavadanaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauratushe Nama Vancha Kalpatru Beshya Krapasendu Bevacha Patita Nam Pavane Pyo Vishnave Pyo Namo Nama So we'll be reading Srimad Bhagavatam Kento for chapter 10, text number 16 onward, practically we will finish the whole chapter because there is no purport except one or two verses. So the text goes like this Dhanur Vispur Jayan Divyam Dvishatam Kedam Udvaham Astraogham Vedam Vedamad Banair Ghanani Kami Vanilaha. Translation by Srila Prabhupada. Dhru Maharaja's bow and arrows twanged and hissed, causing lamentation in the heart of the enemies. He began to shoot incessant arrows, shattering all their different weapons, just as the blasting wind scatters the assembled clouds in the sky. So this description is Dhru Maharaj is fighting with the Yakshas because Yakshas are Kuveras Anuchars. Our disciples are assistants of Kuvera. Kuvera is the in charge of all the wealth of heavenly planets. So somehow Uttama, the younger brother of Duru Maharaj, fought with Yakshas and Yakshas they killed Uttama, his brother. So it gave you a lot of pain and suffering uh, to Duru Maharaj and so to, as a revenge he is now fighting with the Yakshas and his arrows were like Arjun or Lord Ram or when they were shooting, like Arjuna was shooting, then so many from one arrow, thousands of arrows would come. And the enemies, by just seeing them, their heart would be broken or somehow if the woman, they hear the twang of the, uh, his bow, then they will even abort. Uh, so it will create fear. Just like, uh, like it's a nice analogy has been given, uh, that is the blasting wind. If there is so much fast wind, then all the clouds, they become so much, they just become scattered all over. So this uh, yaksha, they just ran away here and there to protect their life. They could not face the silverous activity of Guru Maharaj because he was empowered by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Uh, so he was very, very powerful. You may say that why Guru became angry. It's a natural tendency, but his was, mind was on the Supreme Lord all the time. His Mana Krishna Niveshit. His mind was always on the Supreme Lord. He was like he was meditating when he was five year old, old child. All the time his mind was on Krishna and chanting the holy name. So now even in the battlefield, just as Arjun, Arjun was mind was on Krishna, but he was acting by his body uh, to shoot this 
arrows to the enemies as an order or as a service to the supreme lord so he also took as a service to the supreme lord and he was fighting because it was he was not properly he was killed unnecessarily and uh, a king has the duty to punish the miscreants so as a duty bound duty bound to krishna he was killing this yakshas so the next verse text number 17 tashyate chapam chap nirmukta vitva varmani rakshasam khayana vivi sustigma girina shashano shanayo yatha the sharp arrows released from the bows of dhru maharaj pierce the shields and bodies of the enemy like the thunderbolts released by the king of heaven which decimates the bodies of the mountains so when king of the heaven throws his uh, thunderbolts then all the mountains he could dismantle all the mountains he could make it uh, into powder so same thing this dhru maharaj arrows although the bodies of the enemies are yakshas were covered by the shield but his shield could not protect the arrows of the dhru maharaj they were so sharp and with such a high speed that they pierced the shields and hit the uh, the body of the, all the enemies and they were dying by this this arrows the uh, the next two verses 18 and 19 bhallai sanchidmananam sirobhisharu kundalai urubhir hematal bhair dobhir valaya valguvi harake yur mukutair urshneshaischa mahadhanai as traptasta ranabhuvo rejur viramano raham the great sage maitre continued my dear vidur so this is a maitre muni is narrating this description to vidur but same narration was done uh, in nami sharanya by uh, like uh, they were done to saunakadi rishi by suta goswami and same narration was done by sukhdev goswami to uh, king parikshit and all the assembled uh, saintly people so it is same thing but in different way it has been narrated because once it is taken by sages then it makes it more palatable so if you directly hear from sukhdev goswami one may not be able to understand but the sutu goswami made it more simpler then there is description or talks between many many different characters like here it is maitreya and vidur so he is telling to vidur the heads of those who were cut to pieces by the arrows of dhru maharaj were decorated very beautifully with earrings and turbans so when they go to the to for fighting they may not know that whether they will be able to come back or not so will they will decorate themselves with earrings turbans the body would be decorated so many tilak marks and even their wives would do that and they would understand that in such a fight who knows where their husband would be able to come back so they put their all attention in decorating the body of their husband or soldier uh, so the legs of their bodies were as beautiful as golden palm tree their arms were decorated with golden bracelets and armlets uh, and on their heads there were very valuable helmets bedecked with gold all these ornaments lying on the battlefield were very attractive and could bewilder the mind of a hero uh, so parpar shila prabhupada is writing uh, appears that in those days soldiers used to go to the battlefield highly decorated with golden ornaments and with helmets and turbans and when they were dead the booty was taken by the enemy party their falling dead in the battle with their many golden ornaments dresses was certainly a lucrative opportunity for the heroes on the battlefield so they were heroes one who just goes to the battlefield with no desire whether they will win they will they fight with their heart and whether they have to die or they have to come back alive it doesn't matter to them their whole aim to kill the enemies and so they are decorated and their bo- all the ornaments were thrown when they are killed just like when in the agyat was when uh, there was one side only arjun and uttama uttama was the chariot driver and arjun and on the other side was all the kauravas and Ka- so he thought he did not wanted to kill his uh, all these relatives and enemies so he told that so that everybody became unconscious 
and then Uttama's sister uh, uh, that she told that you bring all the ornaments and the clothing of different color. So he got down and although they were not dead, but he collected all the different colored clothing because Astinapur was the samrat, was the king of all the smaller kingdom and they had very valuable uh, jewels and clothing. So he collected Uttam, collected all for his sister Uttara. Uttara was later on married to Abhimanyu. And she was a little, just young girl, and she was taught in the dance art by Arjun. And so she requested that they please bring all for our dolls, all the clothing and ornaments. We will decorate our dolls. So she was just at the age of playing with the dolls. Uh, text number 20. Hatava Sista Itaro Ranajirad. Rakshogana Shatriya Varya Shayakai Prayu Vivrakna Vayava Vidu Vidu Dhruvu Mragendra Vikri Ditha Yutha Paiva The remaining Yakshas who somehow or other were not killed had their limbs cut to pieces by the arrows of the greater great warrior Dhruva Maharaj. Thus they begin to flee just as an elephant flee when defeated by a lion. So if a lion and there may be hundreds of uh, elephants. When lion roars, all these lions, these elephants, they flee. I have seen that one cow in just front of my house in Khargon. So one cow was bound by an art shaped like a, some kind of animal wood. And then uh, some in another cow saw and they were afraid and they just ran. Then this cow with uh, this wooden, wooden log also ran. And it was such a scene as if like uh, some uh, some animal has come to eat them. Mother uh, is, is, is coming to eat them. And that was stuck somewhere and then some people, they got up. and So hundreds of, so even if there are just some dogs, they bark very loudly. Then all the cows are small or even pigs, they run away. You could see that scene. Even if there are hundreds of number and just one dog and so many big, big pigs, they will run and just go hither and thither with their, just as if they were, their life is in danger. So, same thing when all these yakshas by the arrow of uh, Dhuru Maharaj, arrows of Dhuru Maharaj, their limbs were cut, but their life was still there. Some limbs, there, some arm was cut, some leg was cut, some, so different, some ear was cut, or nose was cut. The vibhatsa scene, just very, very, but they will run hither and thither, here and there, just they will flee. As the elephants they flee uh, by the lion. Number 21. Apashyamana satadatha yayinam mahadradhe kanchana mana votama purindi drakshanapi navishadvisham namai nam veda chikir sitam janam. Dhuru Maharaj, the best of the human beings, observed that in the great battlefield not one of the opposing soldiers was left standing with proper weapon. He then desired to see the city of Alkapuri. But he thought to himself, no one knows the plans of the mystic Yakshas. See, Yakshas and they have all mystic powers. Mystic powers and they kind of yoga siddhi. So they could become smaller, bigger, they could disappear at any time. Uh, so there are anima, mahima, lagima, garima. So many siddhis are there. So they all have these yakshas, they have, means they are higher personality. So there are many, many, like 400,000 types of the uh, human beings. So yakshas is a different human being, even and this differentiation is by uh, their consciousness. See, like in, in, just in this world, in this Prathvi Lok, there are different varieties of Britishers, Americans, Alaskans, and so their mentality is different, the way of knowing Krishna is different, or way they worship is different. So some worships mountains, rivers, oceans. So there is a differentiation. So there are even thousands of even uh, species of human beings. Just like Hanmanji is a human being, although he looked like the face, looked like monkey, but body was like a human being. They were higher than the ordinary monkeys. So their species is not the same like ordinary monkeys. So in this way, uh, those species, 8.400,000 of human beings, is right into this uh, universe. It's not that, so there are many millions of millions of universes, but it is the same species are there. In a number of, the number may be more or less, doesn't matter. And 
and they don't get extinguished. Nobody can extinguish that for 8.4 million species of life. Uh, one may say that it may be it may become reduced, but the uh, the the same number is always there because it is created by the lard, and nobody can baffle the uh, activity of the lard. The next uh, text number 21: Apashyamana sathadatha tainam maha. Mradhe kanchana mana votama, Purim didrakshan napi, Navishadvisham, Namai nam veda chikirshitam janaham. Duru Maharaj, the best of the human being, observed that in that great battlefield, not one of the opposing soldiers. So none was left, so he thought that let me go to Alkapuri. Alkapuri is the capital of uh, Kuvera. But uh, then he thought that there may be yakshas, maybe they have mystic powers, and what they will do if I go there. So a king knows how to behave, how to go. Not that everybody, nobody is there in the battlefield. They may not be in their homes. So there may be some, something may happen. So he did not go. He did not stay at the battlefield. So, iti bruvans, bruvans chitra ratha swasarithim yatha paresham prati yoga sankita shushrava sabdam jaladheri veritam Navasvato Dikshu Rajon Vadakshata. In the meantime, while Dhru Maharaj, doubtful of his mystic enemies, was uh, talking with his charioteer. So they used to talk like Arjun talked to his charioteer Krishna all the time. So they take charioteer is also very 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 intelligent person. They are not just ordinary uh, uh, like driving the chariot, but they take the advice also of each other. Just like Karna was taking advice from um, Shalya. Shalya was the maternal uncle of Nakul and Sahadev. And, he was, and then he was deriding him so much or he was upsetting him so much that he would not be able to fight. Because somehow by trick, uh, Duryodhan uh, honored him so much that he fought on behalf of Kauravas, although he was a relative of the Pandavas, Nakul and Sahadev's maternal uncle, Mama. So here also he is talking to charioteer, Guru Maharaj, and they heard a tremendous sound as if the whole ocean were there. And they sound that from the sky a great dust storm was coming over them from all directions. This was from the mystic power of the Yakshas. So, Shanena Cha Cha Ditam Vyoma Ghanani Kena Sarvata Vispurata Tadita Dikshu Tras Sayatsa Nayit Nuna. Within a moment, the whole sky was overcast with dense clouds, and severe thundering was heard. There was glittering electric lightning and severe rainfall. Vavrashu rudhirao ga sokpiyusha vimutra medasa nipetur gaganadasya kabandhanya grato naga. My dear faultless Vidur, anaga, aga and a pap. And anaga means faultless or popless, sinless. Uh, faultless vidur. In that rainfall, there was blood, mucus, pus, stool, urine, and marrow falling heavily uh, before Dhruva Maharaj. And there were trunk, uh, trunks of bodies falling from the sky. So dead bodies, the pus, urine, stool was falling from the sky. Then, so there was a rainfall of blood and all this. So this is the same thing that same materials are there in Vaitarani Nadi. Vaitarani river is, goes to Sanyamani Puri, the capital of Yamraj. So Vaitarani Nadi is full of stool, pus, urine, and people think that they, that they, are, they were sinful. So before they die, they uh, donate a cow. That cow will swim in this Vaitarani, and we will take hold of the tail of the cow, and we will reach. But it's not that easy, just by, at the end, just you donate a cow and it will take you and cross over the Vaitrani. You will suffer. So one has to be pure devotee of the Lord, so they don't have to take shelter of cow at that time or when they are crossing the Vaitrani Nadi. So Vaitrani Nadi and there is also another is Virja Nadi. Virja is the one that takes you, that is the, uh, that takes you to the spiritual world. Means that uh, where Lord, Mahavishnu lies down. So that is that river that circles the whole universe, covered, uh, covered with so many layers. The universe is covered with 
earth, water, fire, air, ether, mind, intelligence, ego, and beyond that. So all these universes are covered by this layer. And beyond all the universes is this Vetrani Nadi. So, no, Virja Nadi. Vetrani is uh, abominable river. But Virja Nadi takes you to the, if you can cross and that, uh, Karana Ocean, Karana Ocean, where Mahavishnu lies down, then there is a, a spiritual sky. And in the spiritual sky, there are so many Vaikuntha planets. They are floating. So here, from the sky, so many things were falling, uh, abominable things. Tata ke drakshata girir nipetu sarvato disham gada paridhannis trishamusala sa shmavarshina. Next, a great mountain was visible in the sky, and from all directions, hell star stones fell, along with lenses, clubs, swords, iron, uh, blood, uh, uh, bloody gems and great pieces of stone. Ahayo Nihiswa Savamanto Agni Nirushak Shibi Abhidhavan Gajamatta Simavyagrasya Yu Thasaha. Dhru Maharaj also saw many big serpents with angry eyes vomiting forth fire and coming to devour him along with groups of mad elephants, lions, and tigers. So they were all created by mystic powers. Not that they were actually there, but just to threaten the opposite person, like Dhru Maharaj, uh, by their mystic power they have all this. So, Dhru could be afraid and run away from the battlefield. Because they could not stand his prowess. So now they are doing a tricky work uh, so that Dhru could run away. Samudra Urmir Vibhyama Plavan Sarvato Bhuvam Asasad Mahalada Kalpanta Iva Bhishana. Then as if they, as if it were the time of dissolution of the whole world, the fierce sea with foaming waves and great roaring sounds came forward before him. Just like when you go to the Disney world and you see some serpents are coming or the whole waves are coming. So they were it is not there. It is just the illusion of the eye. So they created an illusion like these things are there just to uh, just to threaten him. So, because threatening, everything is in the mind. One should understand, uh, even if you actually is not there, like we dream in the daytime that we think of so many things, we make so many plans, but it is just all in the mind. It is not there exactly. It's an illusion. We are in illusion, but actuality is in Krishna. Krishna, that's uh, Satya Dham, or absolute truth from where everything is emanating and that is the reality absolute beauty or absolute of anything is in the spiritual kingdom where everything is real here everything is a reflection so now they are throwing in reflection another reflection another another thing like a daydream and night dream night dream is false our daydream is false we may think as a in the night as a king or we may think that oh lion is coming and attacking him or somebody Ghost is coming and devouring him. But when we wake up, we understand that this was all false. Uh, we become fearful. So we see the real thing. It is all in the mind. And same thing in the daytime, we think so many, we make so many plans, so many things. But actually it is a temporary, it is for a short time, and we go. When we wake up in the spiritual kingdom, we think what a long, long uh, dream that I had. Now I am there, so it is all a dream, but we make so many, we try, we cry, we uh, attach with somebody, but all this attachment and crying and lamentation and everything is a false if we study our mind and put on Krishna. So we will talk on those things. Oh. So roaring sound was coming before him. So it is. It seemed as if there is a dissolution of the whole world. Evam vidhanya nekani the demon yakshas are by nature very heinous, and by their demonic power of illusion, they can create many strange phenomena to frighten one who is less intelligent. Only for the intelligent person they cannot threaten. But like Arjun was never really worried 
or Lord Ram or Lakshman or Hanuman or one who are grew and fixed in their consciousness. That Mare Krishna Rake Ke, Rake Krishna Mare Ke. If Krishna wants to protect, nobody can kill, nobody could harm. Even Balana Bako Karisake, Jojaga Bairi. Even they cannot move even a hair or even a move a leaf on the tree. What to say about killing someone? Uh, but one who is weak minded, they think it is a real and they are very much afraid. They are they just uh, become so much fearful. Uh, but here, uh, Dhruva Maharaj was not a less intelligent, he was depending on Krishna. And one always has to take shelter of Krishna. The 29th verse. Dhruve prayuktham surayastham mayam atidustaram nishamyatasya munaya samasansana samagataham. When the great sage, sages heard that Dhruva Maharaj was overpowered by the illusory mystic tricks of the demons, they immediately assembled to offer him auspicious encouragement. So in the sky, like higher planetary system, means that this flight was not on the earth planet. This was on a higher planet, Yaksha means a higher planet and then there are many rishis and munis and who are always meditating on the supreme lord who are always thinking of the supreme lord so they all came to encourage Dhruva Maharaj because he was of their not only friend but their aradhya means they knew that he is a pure devotee of the lord he saw uh, lord Narayan face to face so let us encourage him so now they came to rescue him and they uh, so he, they are offering the auspicious encouragement a Munaya Uchuhu, the last verse of this chapter then of the Munu Mun uh, the sages are speaking. Encouraging Guru Maharaj. That don't be afraid for all these things, this is all illusion. Otana Pada Bhagavas, the Vasarang Dhanva, Deva Shinot, Shinodvavana Tar, Tiharovi Pakshan, Yan Namadeyam, Abhidaya Nishamis Chadya. Konja Satarati Dustarama Angam Ratyum. All the sages said, Dear Dhru, O son of King Uttanpad, Uttanapad, means son of Uttanpad. Vasudev and Vasudev. Vasudev is Krishna's father, and Krishna is also called Vasudev. And Kunti and Kaunteya. Kaunteya is Arjun. Kunti's son is Kaunteya. Kaunteya Pratijani Name Bhakta Pranashati. So in this way, uh, Lord Shiva was telling uh, uh, Sati as Dakshayani, that the daughter of Daksha. And she would be when she saw that his father is uh, such a bad character, such a demonic man who did not respect Lord Shiva. And he was blaspheming Lord Shiva. And she would close her ears, would not hear that my body came from uh, Daksha Prajapati. I should give up my body because my body is related to Daksha and sometime in joke. Lord Shiva will tell her Dakshayani. So same thing, Uttanapada, means son of Uttanapad. So all the sages said, Dear Dhru, O son of King Uttanapad, may the Supreme Personality of Godhead known as Sarang Dhanva. So Sarang Dhanva, because he holds the Sarang, Sarang Dhanush. Lord Krishna holds Sarang Dhanush. Just like Gandhi is holded by Arjun, same thing, Sarang this uh, this weapon was holded by Lord Krishna, that's why he is called Sharang Dhanva, who relieves the distress of the uh, devotees, kill all your threatening enemies. The holy name of the Lord is so powerful as the Lord himself. Therefore, simply by chanting and hearing the holy name of the Lord, many men can be fully protected from fear of death without difficulty. Thus a devotee is saved. So they are advising that just the holy name protects everything, so you just chant the holy name and all this illusory energy will go away. And there is no difference between the name Nam or Nami. Even the uh, one whose name is greater than the Nami, whose name is, is there, so Nam is greater than that. So he will protect you from death and all this difficulty. And a devotee is always saved. So Purport, Srila Prabhupada is writing, the great rishis approached Dhru Maharaj at a time when his mind was very perplexed due to the magical feats exhibited by the Yakshas. A devotee is always protected by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Uh, by his inspiration only, the sages came to encourage Dhruva Maharaj uh, and assure him that there was no danger because he was a soul fully surrendered to the Supreme Lord. So this, 
sages were also sent by the supreme lord so supreme lord comes himself or he sent his sages so sages our guru is in the same position that they are appointed by krishna and one has to take the shelter of the sages guru the uh, mahabhagavat personalities and take shelter of them and there is no difference in that uh, and one has to respect uh, a guru in the same way as he yashya dev same way as he respects a uh, supreme personality of godhead yashya deve para bhakti yatha deve tatha guru tashye te kathita hi artha prakashante mahatmana that if you have respect yashya deve para bhakti that you have bhakti in the supreme personality of godhead yatha deve tatha guru and same bhakti is there in the spiritual master or in the mahabhagavat then tashye te in that such a person all the imports of the vedas are automatically revealed otherwise by reading by trying to just go and listening classes where mind is somewhere else or by so many practices dan yagya tap remembering so many verses it is of no use unless you have bhakti to your guru and to krishna then only all so these things are uh, revealed it is not that you could digest yourself you could understand that has to come by the mercy of a pure devotee of the lord then only one can understand the import of this thing so in purport so magical feats were there the great sage rishis approached guru maharaj at a time when his mind was very perplexed due to the magical feats exhibited by the yakshas a devotee is always protected by the supreme personality of god by his inspiration only the sages came to encourage guru maharaj and assure him that there was no danger because he was a soul fully surrender to the supreme lord by the grace of the lord if a devotee at the time of death can simply chant the holy name so at the time of death we one can chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare simply by chanting this maha mantra he immediately surpasses the great ocean a material sky and enters the sky so just by simply following just this instruction in a pure mind not that mind is somewhere else not having any trust you have to have a trust in the words of the scripture or saintly people that just 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 by chanting even once then there is no difficulty in the mortal world and when can when all the sinful reactions will go away and one could be carried to the spiritual world uh, by whatever way that you have to somehow so there is no need of any particular space your purity or whether you are devotee or a demon doesn't matter if you chant uh, just like narayan ajamil chanted and then ultimately his all the sins go went away then he understood he chanted more purely from nama bas to pure name and he went back home back to godhead he never has to come back for repetition of birth and death simply by chanting the holy name of the lord one can surpass the ocean of death a so dhru maharaj was certain certainly able to surpass the illusory magical feats of the yakshas which for the time being disturbed his mind so we may be time being disturbed by the elements in the material world but uh, it is possible that if we chant purely then we could be free uh, from all the fear and would become eligible to go back to the spiritual kingdom nama kirtan uh, that we have to save from the heart uh, then krishna could appear in front of me uh, thus like a siddha mantra naam kirtan can bring anything he could attract the attract krishna like kavi yogendra kavi is telling telling nimi maharaj that that sometime the devotee he chants the holy name he cries out he laughs sometime his tears they come uh, and in in this way uh, they and they just dance the all the astra satvik bhav they come nam uh, nam nam means nam that word come na that nam nam means to to bend down to jhukna or naman karna so whatever one one who is uh, paying obeisances or uh, do not think himself to be very very elevated so so it bends down to both devotee as well as to the supreme lord and uh, and then so that name uh, brings him to uh, or 
pulse to the to the supreme personality of god so nam dhyan so uh, there is it's a very very long description but it is given that one who is a devotee so how to become a devotee of the lord what is this bhagavad gita uh, or bhagavad bhakti by which one can uh, one can be attracted to krishna what is the method so i will try to narrate those things so so everybody uh, in all the dharmas all the vedas there are two things dukha nivritti and ananda prapti everybody wants to be relieved from their suffering ye uh, dukha and everybody is suffering so they put their attention to the supreme lord whatever uh, that they follow and everybody wants ananda prapti that uh, there should not be uh, that there should be bliss anando maya bhyasa uh, so that is but ultimately it is only if we obtain the ananda or bliss then automatically it is accepted that there would not be any suffering so, so only everybody is looking for bliss or ananda sukham me bhoya dukham me ma bhut that let me have uh, sukha and there should not be any dukh so so if there is ananda or bliss see like if there is a light then uh, the darkness could not come wherever there is a light darkness cannot stay there so if we are happy or we are blissful then there cannot be any suffering sukhay karmani karoti loke everybody is working for sukh natai sukham vanya the upara param va so every second that we are working to be that we should not get any unhappiness or suffering and we should be happy so so whatever that we do we may obtain like we may become president or we may have attachment to our wife children i uh, mean so we just go on planning in the material world natai sukham so in the material world there is no sukh neither it at any any day that we will get sukh uh, so we have three things our body is there uh, means uh, so that there are so the body has karmendriya gyanendriya and there is a mind and then so there is a body then there is a uh, mind so body is there with karmendriya and gyanendriya means the 10 things four karmendriya five gyanendriya and then there is mind that is even more subtler and third thing that we have is atma and if when atma is finished everything is gone so everything is working senses are working because of the consciousness because of the soul uh, so so this happiness distress good bad so that karta is the mind so we get attached to the mind the soul has so much connection with the mind that whatever happens in the mind we think it is happening unto us so man maneva manushana karanam bandha moksha mind is the cause of our binding and our freedom chitta meva hi sansara chitta hi chitta means uh, where uh, our chetna chitta means uh, that on which we dwell so chitta chitta is something different than even the even the mind but it is just one aspect of the mind you may say that even buddhi maybe you may say that one aspect of the mind also although intelligent is different which discriminates but ultimately it is mind mane eva hi sansara chittam eva hi sansara tat prayatnena shodhayat we have to try to uh, purify that mind so so sometime so bo- senses may work day and night doesn't matter but it is really the matter is the where our mind is we may be chanting we may be worshiping uh, but that is all sharirik kriya physical drill uh, we may have gone to different places uh, in charo dham or so that is we go by our legs and arms and, and by our senses but somebody may say that he is falahari jalahari digambar does not but it is but we have to be detached from our mind not by out, outward activity so we may be anurag and vairagya two things Anu, vairagya means we have to do detachment from the mind that we should attach to the sansar 
by the mind and we should have uh, anurag or, or love to our attachment anurag means attachment raga means you are attached attachments for which we could not live without whom are always thinking of that so that is has to be done to the mind so mind has to do detachment and also attachment detachment from the world attachment to krishna so there is only one mind either you could put it on uh, on the supreme lord or you could put in the uh, in the material world ek hoto so so when uddhav came and then he was saying that that you put your mind on the brahma brahma means uh, nirakar brahma brahma jyoti Yeah, that is the supreme. That is a Mayavad philosophy. She was telling. So then, then what the Gopi says that we have only one mind that has gone with Shyam, with Krishna. Uh, I don't have anything. Uh, who will worship your Nirakaris? Uh, our mind is one, and it is not possible. And we have attachment to him. Then why we should be? And gradually, by their instruction, then he became Uddhav, became purified. that it is really that they were attached to krishna so vigato raga viraga vairagya or virag that means that vairagya could be with vairagya means a detachment detachment could happen and rag is also of two kind vairagya so there is vairagya and rag rag means attachment could be by anukul bhav or it could be happen with pratikul bhav uh, anukul means uh, favorable and unfavorable unfavorable well means like a, even if he, there is a uh, there is a dushmani shatruta so pyar or khar dono means both are rag either you have attachment by pyar or attachment by uh, khar khar means animosity you may say so sometime you may thinking of enemy and then continuously uh, then that is also the mind is there so that is a kind that you could be attached to that animosity uh, so one should be uh, without really either attached or detached in the material world neither attached nor the detached uh, it should be uh, neutral because the mind is is always active it cannot remain even one minute uh, without any attachment somewhere the mind has to be there so just like <coughs> like say paras and loha like there is a uh, this touch is stone and there is a iron so whether you touch it by uh, lovingly or you touch it by uh, by even in the gussa it will become gold uh, same thing if you put your uh, body in the fire it will burn whether somebody is thrown you in the fire or if you are yourself are burning it will it will it will make a, have the effect so uh, kwe mam istriyo van kari ye vichara drashta so gopis uh, they when krish desala ram uh, in dandakarane forest there so many sages or gopis they became attached to krishna that is so beautiful so that is by kaam bhav uh, so jara buddhi tameva parmatmanam jara buddhya sangita जहुर गुणमय देहम सद्य प्रक्षीण बंधना सो बाय जार भाव दे सरेंडर टू कृष्णा देन वेन परीक्षित महाराज हर्ड दैट देन ही देन ही वॉज देट हाउ कम जस्ट बाय गोइंग टू कृष्णा बाय दिस बाय दिस काम भावना हाउ डेट दे वेर प्यूरिफाइड एंड वेन बैक होम बैक टू गार्ड हेट सो so we will discuss on this thing kamam krodham in bhagavatam it is been given kamam krodham bhayam sneham ekyam sahardam eva va cha nityam haro vidadhato yanti tan mayatam hite whether by krod or whether kam bhav or by fear like kans went to golok by very much fear this uh, uh, this uh, shishupal he was so much envious he was even giving 100 times uh, deriding lord krishna putting him down or shouting at him and but ultimately his soul just entered means he just went back home back to god and uh, so tasmat ke na pi aaye na man krishna nivesh that you put your mind on krishna in whatever way uh, then you will be able to so wherever is our mind uh, 
लाइक दिन गीता इट जस्ट सेज यांती देवरता देवान पितर यांती पितरवरता भूतानी यां सो इट इज विद द माइंड वेयर आवर माइंड इज दैट इज द इफेक्ट नॉट वेयर आवर सेंसेस आर नॉट दैट वी आर चैंटिंग आवर माइंड इज नॉट ऑन कृष्णा बट समवेयर एल्स सो कृष्णा जस्ट सेज यांती मध्या जिनो पिमा दैट इफ यू थिंक ऑफ हिम देन यू विल कम टू हिम वेयर एवर इज योर माइंड एंड लाइक से and ultimately wherever is your mind after death also you will obtain the same thing like uh, jad bharat he was thinking of dear then he became dear that's why uh, so whether you attach your mind with pyar or khar rag but this in bhakti rasamrat sindhu it is said anukullena krishna nu silanam bhakti utchate that your mind should be anukul means Favorable to Krishna consciousness, Ravan and Shishupal and they may have done it, whatever way, but it should be done uh, with uh, with anukul means by uh, an anukul. That is what is recommended. So Krishna is in the heart of everybody. So he understands uh, the heart of everyone because he is there. Uh, he is there. Uh, in the heart he is there in the heart of everyone so he knows uh, where, where is his mind whether he is doing with anurag so but anurag is done by uh, the mind itself so our mind should always be always be on krishna and not somewhere else just like a person who is drunkard his mind is always on the uh, on the wine if somebody is uh, attached to woman his mind are male to female female to male his mind is always there there kamahi nari pyari jimi lobahi pri jimi dam timi raghunath nirantara basam hrday shri ram but we should put lord ram in their place rather than uh, lobhi or kami or uh, so so two things that we have that's detachment from the material world and attachment to krishna that has to be done by the mind कृष्ण सूर्य सम माया है अंधकार जहाँ कृष्ण तहार नहीं माया राधिकार माया दिस माइंड इज द सन ऑफ सन ऑफ दिस माइंड इज द सन ऑफ माया एंड द जीव द आत्मा जीव जीव जी स्वरूप है कृष्ण नित्य दास बट ऑल्सो दैट ममई वंशो जीव लोके जीव भूत सनात वी आर सन ऑफ कृष्ण भगवान जीव जीव भूत सनातन सो दिस माइंड इज सन ऑफ माया so wherever there is a krishna maya cannot come there maya is darkness so mind wherever is krishna if we take shelter of krishna maya cannot have its uh, its a point so we should put on our mind that so mind uh, we should not be behind the mind because it is our enemy really uh, like rishabh dev in in front of him so many anima mahima lagima garima came but he did not put put his mind on that uh, mind should always be so so we should not be attached either by uh, attached to anything of the material world but mind has to be active so it has to be attached to krishna nahi kashit shanam api jatu tishtati akarma krat in gita Six uh, and three, five, and write that uh, it cannot even remain, even for a minute. Just like you have heard the story of a like there was a pandit ji, and he and he somehow uh, that one ghost came to him, and he he became very happy because he needed some assistance. But he did the work very very fast. Then he came to him that you engage me, otherwise I will devour. Her. So he became very much afraid. So he went to some saintly man, and then he said that ask him to put a pole, long, long pole, one mile up, and ask him to go on chanting and go up and down until he gives him some another, uh, another work. So the same thing like Ganesh ji was telling to Veda Vyas that you want me to write. There were over four hundred thousand verses. So he said that I will write, but you should not stop creating the verses. So then he also put him a condition that unless you understand uh, what uh, the meaning of those verses, you cannot write. So there were uh, 
8800 shlokas which had a deep meaning and Ganesh ji could not understand them right away. In that much time he will be able to eat, he will be able to take bath, he will be able to do all his uh, kriya and then come back again in, in writing. So, so this mind cannot remain inactive for any time. So, now, like one time, Yudhishthir Maharaj, uh, a Brahman came to Yudhishthir Maharaj, and Yudhishthir Maharaj, he wanted to have some, uh, some gold, so he could marry his daughter. Yudhishthir Maharaj came, I am very busy now, come tomorrow. So, Bhima heard that, and he asked his ministers, and that make a very uh, big arrangement, like a big festival, in whole city of us. Indraprastha. So there was a, so much going on, then Yudhishthir Maharaj asked, what is this festival, why it is there? Then ultimately it was, uh, so minister same, it is the Bhima's order. So Bhima was asked by Yudhishthir Maharaj, he said that you will be there tomorrow, and what is the guarantee, means you have won the death, uh, so, which nobody has won, but you have, uh, so, you have won your so we may not know when anything could happen. So immediately thinking our frailty, we should put our mind on Krishna. Or Krishna means you could put on mind, Krishna means you always chant Satatam Kirtan to Maam, or think of his Naam, Roop, Leela, uh, uh, like. So all those uh, you could just think of are his entourage, are his, uh, his holy dhams, so that's where our mind should be put in. Then, we, then it will be, it will have some place to think. Otherwise, mind would go to the material things. So, whether it is the Atma, we say that it is done by Atma, but everything is done by the mind. Maneva Manushanam Karnam Ban. So, so it has been said, we want happiness. Yove Bhuma Tat Sukham. Bhuma means we are, we are soul is always looking. For Bhuma, so Bhuma means spiritual bliss. Nalpe Sukham Asti Bhuma Teva Vi. So, that Sukha, what our soul is looking, is unlimited. Uh, unlimited happiness, and which is not there in the material world. In the material world, everything is limited. Uh, so, wherever there is a in material world, there is a Maya is in the material world. Wherever there is Maya, there is a suffering. So, we have to look for the uh, anandu maya bhyasat, but also uh, anandam buddhi vardhanam pratipadam purna amrata swadhanam. But in the material world, abrahma bhona loka punaravarti, where there is a, we have to go, man, man, birth, death, old age, disease. So there is punaravarti. We cannot be happy in this kingdom. There cannot be uh, uh, happiness in the material world. That is everybody knows, but still our mind is there. Why? Our mind is there in the material world because for millions and millions from beginning of the our journey in the material world, we are thinking that yes, just by change this foundation I will be happy. So it is the Maya's job that makes us feel and because of our experience that we are in the material world and oh there is some happiness or there will be happiness will come. So it always deluding uh, just uh, like when Bilo Mangal Thakur and Bilo Mangal Thakur, this uh, Vaishya, she told him that you climbed with the snake, but same kind of attachment like your attachment with my body, which is filled with urine, pus, stool. If you have attachment to Krishna, then you will be free from all the suffering in the mortal world. You will develop unlimited anand. We talk at the time of going on the, uh, with the funeral, we just say, Ram Nam Satya hai. Satya Bolo Gatya, our Gati is only Ram Nam. So Ram Nam is only truth, and the truth that that is only. But if we say at the time of marriage the same thing, or when there is some child is born, somebody may kill us. But that is the reality. That Ram Nam is always Satya. We should always be chanting. So sometimes we take uh, like decisions, uh, just like uh, uh, if we have so much loss, or uh, wife or husband is gone, or then one may take a sannyas. But sannyas is, but mind is not gone. 
so then that sannyas is not proper uh, it is unless our mind is free from all that attachment mukti mukti spraha yavat pishachi hrdi vartate tavat bhakti sutra shastra katham abhudaya bhave so as long as we have bhukti or mukti so even mukti is also dangerous uh, why bhukti means all this material enjoyment mukti is liberation so kaitava kaitava means cheating this dharma artha kam this three are kaitava and even moksha is the topmost kaitava it is because moksha means we merge into the brahma jyoti which is not really right then what is the work then there is there is nobody is a devotee nobody is servitor and nobody is to be served you just want to become one with the lord and and finish your existence which is which cannot happen and so people that is thought that now they have become brahma brahma mein mil kar ke ghata kash pata kash there which is inside a pot and outside when the pot is broken you will be uh, that inside the air uh, uh, in the pot will become one with the outside air when the pot is broken so this is all so many nonsense things are there in the mayavad so even desire for mukti that is uh, that is also not proper because that is you will it see if it is you are in the material world somehow some devotee may come and liberate you but when you are in the brahma jyoti there are no devotees and nobody would come to ask you uh, to purify you and that's why you are stuck there for long long period of time so one should not be looking for mukti even and that is all sarva anyavi lashita shunyam moksh ni jnana karma anadevratam means one should not be uh, covered with gyan or even the mok desire for liberation uh, so krishna is thinking krishna kahe amar bhaje mange visheshu he is very very that we cannot ask for something material world because that is uh, that kind of desire is not proper in the material world any desire if you fulfill any material desire then again you want more so there is uh, in so our desire should be for krishna talk in krishna and go to the krishna's world and mind is very very chanchal how to um, how to uh, like uh, uh, how to control it chanchalai mana krishna pramathi balavadranam tasyaham nigram manne vayuriva sudushkaram that maharaj this uh, krishna is asking that krishna my mind is uh, very very chanchal uh, very uh, flickering what how i should control that to put on krishna so he is uh, krishna is saying he, mai eva mana adaso mai buddhi nivashe you put your mind on me not on the sansar you just give your mind to me and then you will be free from this material entanglement so to be detached vairagya means to be detached from uh, from this material world and to be attached to krishna uh, and that is also called bhakti becoming attached to krishna is called bhakti anurag upasana prem seva that is all the same thing that we should be attached to and even it could be attached anybody can be attached to krishna even somebody whatever condition uh, i mean krishna has made it so easy to do the bhakti even somebody is durachari but if he is chanting the holy name bhajate ma manane bhag he should be accepted as a sadhu uh, and but also you have to go to a guru tad vigyanartham sa guru meva bi gachet समेत पाणी श्रोतव्यम ब्रह्मनिष्ठम वन हु इज इन ब्रह्मनिष्ठ हु हैज अंडरस्टूड दिस स्क्रिप्चर हु कुड टीच दैट यू शुड गो टू हिम जस्ट लाइक इफ यू केची द केवलया भक्त्या वासुदेव परायणा अघम धनवंतिकार स्नेन नीरा निराहारम इव भास्कर सो वन इवन इफ इज नॉट ए ज्ञानी और अज्ञानी एनीबॉडी ही वुड बी एबल टू इफ ही इज टेकन शेल्टर ऑफ द लोटस फीट ऑफ वासुदेव then just like uh, uh, when the sun arises then all the cloud they go away our cloud cannot cover the even with whatever mind jara buddhi or we just talk with fear or with hatred or with envy any nature 
and Krishna wants, even if you give simple things, Patram Pushpam Palam Thoyam, if you offer, you could, Krishna would be happy. Or you go to Krishna with Akama Sarva Kamava, Moksha Kama Udardi. You would go to him with Akama or Sarva Kama. So you, one can approach Krishna, Kamam Kurudam Bayam, his name, Akim Sohradam Evava. So, so automatically you would be happy just by taking to Krishna consciousness. Just like when you eat, then there is Tusti, Pusti, and Shudhapayo Anugasam, each with each, uh, like you take each call or each grass, then naturally that you become Tusta, Pusti, you become uh, a strength, and, uh, and your hunger that go away and you become, uh, you become stronger and stronger. So, Uddalak Muni Nachi Keta, he went to Yamraj, and Yamraj was telling him, telling he wanted to know about that, how one can be free. Same questions that Sanatan Goswami asked, Kya mi, Amara Jara Tapatra, and how I could be free from, who am I? And he is just saying that, yes, we are part of Krishna, and only by worshipping Krishna. And Bhagavatam gives many, many, uh, uh, many, many verses that anybody can do that. It's uh, Manda because it was asked that they say that Kali people are of Manda Buddhi. Manda, Sumanda Mathe, Manda Bhagya. So now who is at the age of dying, what he should be doing? So he should be somehow, uh, because in the Shastra or Vedas, there is so many like jungles and one cannot be, cannot understand. So just give us, uh, give us one way that we could be free from this material entanglement. So just see that Sutta Goswami is just saying in one, one verse, just see, see the Sutta Goswami's Kamal, or Savai Pun Sham Paro Dharma, Yato Bhakti Radhokshaje, Ahe Tuki Apratihata, Yayatma Su Prasidati. That for every living being, Paro Dharma is by which our Devotion is increased to Krishna. It should be a hetuki without any motivation and a pratyata. It should be continuous by which Krishna is happy. So, Sukhdeva Goswami, same thing is told by Tasmat Bharat Sarvatma. Bharat means Arjun, Bhagwan Ishwaro, Ishwaro Hari, Srotavya. Srotavya means hearing, Kirti Tavasya Kirtan, and Ismartavya Ismaran. So, so, we should not do Alasya, Siddhanta Baliya Chitte, Nakaralas. Uh, so Harinam, that is what is described in this last verse of this chapter, that Kirtan, that will free you. That you read every Shastra, ultimately, Alodya Sarva Shastrani, Vicharita Puna Puna, Idam Ekam Sunishlam, Narayana Hari, Deyo Narayana Hari. And in Padma Purana also it says, Ismartavya Satatam Vishnu, Ismartavya Najati Chit, we remember Krishna, never forget him. Sarve Vidhi, all this Vidhi and Nisheda, what is there, uh, they are all servant of these two. And ultimately we should come to this stage that Nayanam Galadashu Dharaya Vadanam When we chant, we should have these things and uh, one, uh, just a Nimesh should look like Yuga Itam Nimesh. And it should look like this whole Kalp has gone. And so in whatever way we, so it is Krishna has made it very easy, we should go to him with clean slate and without attachment, uh, attachment to the material world, we should be, de- people say, Jnana and Vairagya, but these are automatically a byproduct of Krishna consciousness. And one can take to this, and Krishna will, you take little step, it is never finished, it will, you will start from wherever you take the next birth until you complete, but anything in the material world would go away, and we have been doing this for time immemorial, for billions and billions of lifetime. So now by Prabhupada's mercy we understand that Krishna consciousness is the only way to be happy that is in Golok Vrindavan and we should take it very seriously. Thank you very much. Uh, that could be done by chanting the holy name like Guru Maharaj did uh, for long and then all the Maya had gone away that uh, this uh, Kuvera Yakshas have thrown on Guru Maharaj. But then he was not afraid and ultimately he went back home, back to garden. Thank you so much. I have taken 
quite a bit long time. Thank you for giving me this much time. If there is any comments, questions, or discussions, please unmute now. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. It was really nice lecture. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna Ramdas. Thank you. It was very nice. Thanks a lot. Hare Krishna Babaji, the Lord Rama, Pastor Shila Prabhupada, and Guru Maharaj, it is a nice class, Prabhupada Ji, and we find all the verses, they are, they are, they show the disposition of um, the war going on, like uh, you were comparing with the Mahabharata war, how uh, Krishna was the creator of Arjuna, like that. Krishna tries to explain us in so many ways that somehow we put our mind on him and turn our direction towards him, attached to him, and then everything would be easy. But we are attached because of our uh, so much remaining in the material world, so I always think that material world would give me happiness, but there is no happiness that one can get which the soul is looking. Just this flickering happiness does not satisfy the soul. Yeah, I like the point when you, you were saying, like Gopis are saying, um, he had one only one mind and that is gone with Krishna. Right. So, yeah, so for doing that, uh, what should we do, Prabhuji? No, if our mind is with Krishna, then our mind would not go into the material world. Like uh, this, Uddhavji was saying, that you just think of, not Krishna, but think of Brahma. Brahma means just uh, Brahma Jyoti. You think of him and just merge. And he says, no, we cannot do it. Our mind is with Krishna. It is gone. We don't have two minds. Our mind is one, so we don't care about Brahma. Who is this Brahma? What is his name? We, we have no idea. We want that Parabrahman, Krishna, with whom we play, we joke, we make him dance. So that is our mind is on him. So our mind should also be on uh, on Krishna, the personality of Godhead, not on some uh, some wide or some air or some light or something else. So go be start him lesson to become a duty of the Parabrahman, Krishna directly make friendship or you could go to him with any any desire and he fulfills all that and that is our way of whether it is. So one should be really just to, that real devotion is Krishna Sukhe Kathat Paramai, without our caring about ourselves, caring about our own happiness, only for happiness of Krishna. Automatically we are his part, we will be happy. And all the knowledge, everything, you may say, why we have to read all this Shastra and Bhagavatam, and, uh, that is to fix our mind on Krishna. Otherwise somebody would come, and would make us, oh, not to Krishna, worship Durga, worship Shiva, worship Brahma, worship this, and you will obtain, but that is all material happiness. That won't last long. So why not to do something which is everlasting? Because we are eternal and we need to attach with the eternal. That's a Krishna. We are eternally a servant of Krishna. Yes, uh, and uh, we should make him happy, and then only we will be happy. So that happens by approaching a spiritual master, and by his mercy he could connect you with Krishna.
automatically you will become purified. You don't have to do anything outside other than just serving Krishna. Then all the knowledge, all the detachment, everything will come. He is over everything. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Krishna. Uh-huh. I have a question. Can I ask? Yeah. Sure, sure, please. Yes. I wanted to find out, like you know, some you mentioned about it, following the Guru's um, instructions, and that is a way. Sometimes we have seen that. Uh, Devotee takes a shelter of some guru. Some man I'm talking about in Iskon also has taken guru accepted and uh, taken shelter of the guru and the guru has accepted the disciple as a, to take charge of him. But then later on, sometimes it happened that the guru cannot. Uh, guide the disciple. So in that case, what should be done? Yeah, it's a common question and it is uh, what you are asking is very genuine, very nice with a good heart that you are asking because it is with, he may not be able to guide like Prabhupada, but he is there. He has surrendered to Krishna and Krishna, even if he cannot guide, then there are his God brothers, his scriptures are there. So you take shelter of that. And Krishna is also there in the heart as Paramatma. He could also guide you. But something that surrendering process has to be there. And if he is given Diksha, we should not give his shelter. Even if he falls down or unless it is grassly abominable, one should not really deride or have a, a tendency to uh, hurt him by any way. Because of the, somehow, because of the previous tendency, some guru may fall down. But it is just a temporary, Krishna will make sure that he revives that, whether in life or la, next life. But guru-disciple relation is eternal relation. It is not a temporary relation, and we should continue having faith in the guru. And if he is not guiding you, then you should take the guidance from his God brothers or someone else and continue your devotional life. Prabhupada wrote so many books. So Prabhupada is saying that my books are like for 10,000 years they would be law books for all the mankind to follow. So we could follow in his explanation, in his purpose. And so that is like our grandfather. And he loves more than the father. So sometimes father may not be there, may be die or may leave the movement, but still grandfather is there, uh, he is the Sanstapag Acharya. We take his shelter or his god brothers or his scriptures that are there, so we could take that shelter, the movement, and that's why there is a society. So we should not just go out of the society, oh, so much is happening here and seeing something wrong and we may live then there is no shelter, then we will be like a vagabond neither here nor somewhere else. So we should continue to having it. And we could pray to Krishna to, if there is some discrepancy in his activity of the Guru, then you pray to Krishna to correct him also. And so it is a reciprocal, like sometimes father may be said by the son, oh, you have done this thing wrong. But father is always a remain a father. You cannot say that now he is not a father. So we should, in the same way, uh, we should ex- once you accept a guru it is arrangement is done uh, by Krishna it is not a bogus guru from the very beginning he has certain criteria some qualification that has been uh, uh, that's why he is appointed as such and then if you have taken shelter of him I am not if they are in the parampara then we should take shelter of the parampara and they will guide you but we should not really blaspheme, deride him, put him down, or uh, 
in our mind, we should not pollute our mind by some wrong thoughts. We have taken shelter and he has given you. Uh, so you continue with that mentality, our mind should be pure. It is Krishna's business. He has made this arrangement. You may say, what about a bogus guru? That is because we wanted bogus material. Like there are so many, so many sadhus, they come up, cheaters and cheated. That is a different thing. But this is a bona fide movement uh, come in parampara. So we should not just reject and just go somewhere else. That there is some, somewhere else there is, I will get uh, devotion or guidance or something. You get the guidance in the scripture that Prabhupada has written and his god brothers are written, and take shelter of that also. Sometimes, like Prabhupada was not here, uh, so he gave initiation to some people, but he did, they did not see his good Prabhupada. But still the continuation is there by his instruction. So, we should be very careful in such things, rather than whimsically, oh, he is this, I am greater than him and I should leave him. Uh, because this arrangement is a bona fide <coughs> arrangement and it should not be taken very lightly. And that's what I would say, means many would say, only when there is a, one can reject just like one, if you are worshipping Krishna like rejection in Shastra is given, that Sukracharya and Bali Maharaj rejected him on the basis that he said, don't give to, uh, to Narayana or Krishna, Vamandeva. You have promised to give the three feet land, don't give to him. He may take everything. And he said that if he is taking everything, it belongs to him anyway. I have already promised. So he did not really care about his guru. He rejected his uh, advice. He did not take it seriously because he was going against the Krishna. So if somebody is going against the Krishna, in those situations it is something different. But if it's some one is still worshipping Krishna, he still has his place in his heart about Krishna, then one should not reject. Thank you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Any other question, comments, or we should this? continue further or are there any more questions for Prabhuji at this point? Yeah, if nobody has any questions, um we would end the call here. Thank you so much, Prabhuji, for such a wonderful okay. talk today. Thank you so much and for giving me And we are very grateful to you. We really look forward to your association again in future. Okay. Hare Krishna Thank Prabhu. Thank you. I'm also looking for all the devotees association, at least by phone call, because we cannot be together in another way by Vani and Vup. So just by Vani, we'll be together. Thank you. Hare Krishna. All glories to Srila Prabhupada and all the Vishnuvas, all the श्रीमद्भागवतम की जय श्रीला प्रभुपाद की जय श्री कृष्ण स्वामी कृषि प्रभु की जय